In this episode of the Cretaceous Campcast, we're going to give some marketing updates as well as talk about the brand new clip that was just released today on the Netflix After School account. So stick around till after the intro. Hello and welcome to the Cretaceous Campcast. I'm Cretaceous Dave, and this is a podcast all about Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous and Jurassic World Chaos Theory. In this episode, I am going to talk about and give my thoughts about the brand new clip that was released just today on the Netflix After School account called Cabin Attack. But before we get into that, I've got some marketing updates for you all. If you remember in the last episode, I mentioned some things DreamWorks TV were doing. Well, they're keeping at it. They are going hard on the marketing. Uh, just a few days ago, they released these sketches with some information. It's kind of like Darius's field guide. I'm not sure if it is his field guide, but it's pretty cool. It shows some of the dinosaurs that are going to be in the series and have some facts about them and things like the last known location. Um, one little bit of unfortunate news about that is it it was detected that some of them were just traced from other people's work, uh, including someone that is no longer with us. So that is really unfortunate. Um, but it is really cool marketing that they're doing, and I'm hoping whoever did it had no idea. Um, so let's let's hope all of the marketing going forward is done in good faith and has you know some higher standards to it. But those sheets are really cool. And then just today, they released a series of motivational posters uh, that have some really cool things, kind of like the street signs that had some Easter eggs in it. These motivational posters have some really cool things in them, like. Uh, the background of some of them has some newspaper clippings and you can try to figure out what some of them might mean or what they're trying to say. Uh, one of them has a gyrosphere in it. Like, where'd that gyrosphere come from? Who has the gyrosphere? Where is it? What's it doing there? You know, these are questions we're probably going to get answered in less than two weeks. So, you know, I can't wait. And I love what DreamWorks TV is doing on social media, posting all of these things. And at the rate they're going, they're probably going to do a couple of them a week. So this is this is really cool. This is really exciting. The, um, the marketing is really kicking up. A, today was the guess date for darkjurassic.com launching just based on what was on at the Jurassic Park wiki. We know wikis can be incredibly unreliable. In this case, it wasn't true. We got no darkjurassic.com today. Doesn't mean we won't get it. We might get it uh, maybe Friday. Kind of thinking Friday sounds like a good day to do it now at this point. Uh, and I'll get into reason why in just a minute. But in um, before I get into the Friday stuff, other marketing things, uh, our friend Muzzamil uncovered yet another brand new book that's going to be coming out. It's in the kids step into reading series. The book is called Free the Dinosaurs and the total total the tentative street date so far is January 7th for that book. If you have any little kids just learning to read, these are really cool books. They kind of read like comic books and the very few words and they're set up for kids to help them learn how to read. Uh, we have the Camp Cretaceous ones for our son and they're awesome. I love them. Probably end up picking up the step into reading books for chaos theory as well because we've got a daughter that's going to be getting into the age of starting to recognize words and stuff like that in the near future. Uh, in other new news, there were three new Lego sets officially unveiled. A few episodes ago, I mentioned some Lego set leaks. Well, now the Lego sets are finally revealed. There's a build a bumpy, which looks really cool. Um, then there's a set with an Allosaurus and another set with a Stegosaurus. Two dinosaurs that people have been wanting Lego to make for 
forever. So these sets look pretty awesome. You can pre-order them now on lego.com and the street date for them is June 1st. So they are just around the corner, but you can pre-order them now on lego.com if you're interested or if you want to go check them out. Uh, what else? Any other marketing updates before I give the big one? Nope, I don't think so. I think I covered uh, all, all the the marketing points that have come up since last episode except this one this one is huge apparently netflix has this world i don't even know what to call it inside of roblox called next world it's a game but it's also this like virtual theme park kind of place and they are going to be premiering the first episode of chaos theory this friday may 17th one week early and once again Huge thanks to our friend Muzzamil. He's the one that first posted it on social media. And then, of course, it spread like wildfire once news got out there. Uh, this new Next World place, uh, I loaded Roblox on my phone. I set up an account. I asked my son, hey, how do I play Roblox? Um, and I went into Next World and wandered around. There is a, a theater. It looks kind of like a, an amphitheater sort of thing, maybe a movie theater inside of next world and i think that's where chaos theory is going to be premiering now they didn't say what time or if it's just a you know you show up at a certain time and you can watch or if it's just kind of a continuous when you're in there you can hit a play button and you can watch the first episode there's like no details on it i joined the next world discord i asked the developers like hey do you have any information on chaos theory and they're like nope we don't know anything. Um, so hopefully in the next few days, we'll get more information on that. But at that theater, when you're there, there are these little characters you can interact with. And they say they're they're like preparing for a special event coming up or something to that effect. So that's why I'm guessing that theater is probably where Chaos Theory will be. Chaos Theory will be airing. But that's really exciting. You can catch the first episode one week early. I know Roblox isn't for everybody. It's not everybody's thing. And it does kind of stink for people that can't get into Roblox to watch or don't want to go into Roblox to watch because they're going to be potential spoilers for one episode out there for an entire week. So if you do watch it on Roblox, I'm asking everyone, please, please keep the spoilers to yourself or find some spoiler friendly place to chat about them. I'm sure people will have, you know, Discord channels or whatever where you can freely talk about things with spoilers. Uh, I know on my Discord server, I don't want anybody talking about it yet. Um, you know, save it for the people that don't get a chance to watch it until the 24th but uh me personally i'm gonna try to figure out how the heck to watch this thing on the 17th because i cannot wait and part of the reason i am so impatient is because of what this episode is about and it is about that clip that netflix netflix after school dropped on us today out of nowhere the clip is called cabin attack and it's a little less than two minutes long but man did it have my heart racing and it had me hungry for more so if you haven't watched it, stop listening to me right now. Go to the Netflix After School YouTube account and find the Cabin Attack Chaos Theory clip. Watch it, then come back and pick up this episode. All right, you're back? You watched it? Okay, good. So don't have a whole lot to say about it, um, but I just wanted to give just really quick thoughts on the whole thing. It starts off with Darius and Ben and... You know, it, it looks like it picks right up after the trailer scene where Ben is at his door and Darius is surprised, like, you know, why are you here? But the thing that got me was, you know, that he was prank calling him. And Ben's like, what are you talking about, man? I wasn't prank calling you. So it asks the question, who's calling Darius and why? And it's really leaning hard into that whole conspiracy thriller stuff that Scott Kramer talked about. And it's it's just it's just hooking me, man. It's hooking me. It, I want to know everything about what's going on, what the situation is. Who's calling him? Is it the mystery guy with the glasses from the first real trailer? You know, is it the woman with the whistle? Is it Dodgson? Is it Daniel Kahn from prison? Is it somebody we have no idea who they are? I don't know. Uh, there's a hundred thousand possibilities going on right now. Who is calling Darius that he thinks it's Ben prank calling him? But you know, other than that, all we get is boom, 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 nonstop Atrociraptor action in this clip. You know, Darius and Ben are talking, and then they hear the tap, tap, tap of the uh, raptor claw outside. Darius turns off the light, and then you can see the shadow of the raptor through the window behind Ben. 
And we saw that clip real quick in the teaser trailer. And then Darius says something to the effect of, you know, if you're quiet, they'll just go away. And then just bam, it smashes through the window and things just get chaotic. Hence the name chaos theory, you know, and it is just crazy. It is a minute and a half of just Darius and Ben trying to escape across the Raptors. Darius firing off a net cannon, catching one in a net. Ben is shocking one in the face with the shock stick. It is just crazy. It is out of this world. Um, one thing that I noticed after watching it more than a few times is the sound design and the music is just great in that sequence. And if the music is anything like that in the whole rest of the show, I am going to be in love with the score and the sound and music design that this show has. So I I'm loving what I'm hearing already. So great job to everyone involved with sound and music in this one. I I'm, I have high expectations now for the rest of the series as far as the sound goes, you know. It's it's really great. It adds to the scene. It makes the moment even more tense. Um, if you didn't pay attention to the music in it, go back, watch it again, but pay attention to the music as the stuff is happening. You know, it's it's really, really great. And then just as they think they're OK and they go outside, another Atrociraptor is outside waiting for them. And Darius gives the oh crud line and then that's it. The scene ends. And we get the Netflix logo, May 24th. And man, it it was just awesome, you know? Um, I, I don't know. I watched it so many times between the motivational pictures and that clip dropping today. I had almost zero productivity from one o'clock in the afternoon on until the end of my day. Uh, I had to, like, I kept going back watching it. I, I was like checking social media to see what people were talking about about that clip. And I'm seeing nothing but super, super positive things. And people that didn't like the Atrociraptors and Dominion are like, oh, this looks really cool. And, you know, we're getting a lot of people saying like, this is what Dominion should have been. And it's all based off like a minute and 40 second clip of a, you know, animated show. Um, so it's, it's really exciting. It's, oh man, we're just, just, uh, a little over a week away, you know, less than two weeks, a little over a week, depending on how you want to look at it. The optimist view, a little over a week, you know, or just a few days away from the first episode. If you're willing to venture into Roblox land, it's, oh, it's crazy. That clip was so good. Uh, definitely go and watch it again. Go, go and watch it again and again and pay attention to it. And I'm just really looking forward to it. I know this isn't a very long episode. It was just a very short clip. And I just wanted to say how excited I was and give you guys a couple of the uh, marketing updates. Uh, if you're interested in all the marketing stuff, go follow DreamWorks TV on social media. They've been doing stuff on Twitter and on Instagram. And they've been doing a bang up job. They've been doing really great. I'm looking forward to seeing what else they're doing over the next week and a half, two weeks. You know, they, they've. They've gone above and beyond. They're doing a great job with the marketing. So, you know, kudos to them. I, I, I'm so proud and glad that they're doing that and promoting the show as heavily as they are. Hopefully, darkjurassic.com will be a real website. I don't know. Now you know why I said Friday. Maybe it's going to launch on Friday to coincide with the first episode premiering. Um, I have no confirmation on this. I have no inside knowledge, but my guess is spoiler free reviews and other bits of information will probably also come out on Friday. Now that the show itself is going to have a soft premiere on Friday, uh, usually things like that kind of coincide together. So maybe we'll get some kind of info dump on Friday, the 17th. That'll be, that'll be pretty cool. And then, you know, we have one week to wait till we get the rest of the show, you know? Um, also, continue to check out the Netflix After School YouTube channel because they'll probably be uploading one or two more clips before the show premieres on the 24th. If it's anything like Camp Cretaceous, they did upload multiple clips for the seasons. So this one being a week and a half-ish out, um, I expect at least one more clip before the show premieres, but I wouldn't be surprised if there were two more clips. So definitely keep your eyes open on their channel, Netflix After School. The regular Netflix and the regular Jurassic World channels may upload stuff, but Netflix After School is probably the place you should be checking and keeping your eyes on. Um, also, keep your eyes on our socials. We'll try to share as much stuff as possible at JP underscore CampCast on Twitter. We are most active there on Twitter, but also at Cretaceous CampCast on Instagram, Threads, and YouTube. Also on 
TikTok at that name, but barely use TikTok. I, I really want to try to do more. I say that all the time, but I always forget <laughs> to post things to TikTok. Um, but on the Twitter topic, once again, I'm going to say it. I say it every episode, and I'm going to keep saying it all the way until next Friday, that please join us for our Cretaceous Countdown, which is our daily rewatch of Camp Cretaceous. We're watching one episode a day, every day, all the way up until Chaos Theory premieres. We are in season five now, final season of Camp Cretaceous. I know season five isn't for everyone, but, you know, if you're doing the rewatch, congratulations. You've almost made it. We are so, so close to the end. We would appreciate it if you tweet along with us at JP underscore Campcast and use the hashtag Cretaceous Countdown. We've gotten more people involved lately. So that's fun. It's exciting. I, I like seeing, you know, people's replies and tweeting along. And it, it's great seeing a, a number of people rewatching Camp Cretaceous in the lead up to Chaos Theory. It's, it's a lot of fun. It's going to be a good time. And we're trying to think of maybe something special we can do once Chaos Theory comes out. It's it's difficult to, you know, coordinate a watch party on release because people all over the country, all different time zones. For me, it releases at three in the morning. So it's, you know, crazy. I'm not going to be on Twitter or doing a live stream or anything like that when it is. I'm barely going to be awake when I'm watching it. So um, maybe shortly after it's released, we might do something fun. Um, thinking of doing something fun when we get to Hidden Adventure. Hidden Adventure will be the day before Chaos Theory comes out. Uh, someone asked why it's happening after season five. We're just doing the whole rewatch in release order, not in, you know, timeline order, because that happens between seasons two and three. But um, not making any promises, but might do something cool for Hidden Adventure. We'll see. So stick around, follow on uh, social media, and I will be posting if I do do something. Uh, I have a new contest in the works, still trying to figure it out. I think I may have mentioned it last time, but if not, I do have a new contest in the works. It will be for residents of the United States only, unfortunately. Um, just for shipping purposes, it'll cost way too much money to ship something outside the U.S. But we'll see. Maybe I'll figure something out. And, oh, yeah, that uh, JurassicWorldAdventure.com contest, still ongoing. You know, any Jurassic merch you purchase, submit if you live in Canada, and you can win a trip to Universal Orlando. So that could be a lot of fun. So if you're a resident of Canada, definitely take advantage of that. Go out and buy those new Chaos Theory toys that are going to be coming out. Some of them look fantastic and some of the stuff that showed up in some of the leaks we're now starting to see in these clips and everything it's like dares with a net launcher this is crazy this is like old kenner toys but no he had a net launcher in this clip that released today it's it's awesome it looked so cool it didn't look corny or over the top or anything it it legitimately looked cool if you know you know what i'm talking about if you watched it which i hope you did because you know i told you to turn me off and go watch it so uh you know if you haven't go watch it and if you have go watch it again Anyway, that about wraps it up. You can follow me at Cretaceous underscore Dave on Twitter. And once again, the podcast at JP underscore camp at JP underscore Campcast on Twitter and at Cretaceous Campcast on Instagram, threads and YouTube. Speaking of YouTube, thank you, everybody. We made it over 100 subscribers. The goal was 100 subscribers by the time Chaos Theory came out and we got over 100. So thank you all so much. Um, if you do watch uh, this podcast on youtube and not listen on audio podcast thank you so much and if you do like it please subscribe if you want to if not no big deal um and for everyone that's listening that listens on whatever platform you listen to thank you to all of you to you guys as well um i do this because i love it and i love talking about these shows but i love when people interact with me on social media now um from finding the podcast and whatnot so i, I love talking to other Camp Cretaceous and Chaos Theory fans. So thank you, everybody that watches or listens. Uh, couldn't do it without you. So until next time or until something else really cool comes up later this week, maybe, everyone stay safe, stay Jurassic, and have yourselves a good one. So long. <laughs>